Here's a problem where we're going to throttle a real gas and we want to determine what's the final temperature. If we feed in nitrogen at high pressure and close to room temperatures, so we're going to feed this through a partially open valve, a throttle. Of course, we have nitrogen coming out. The final pressure we're going to set is 2 bar. And the question is, then what's the final temperature? It's a steady state system. So we do an energy balance. Assumption of throttle is it's very fast, very little heat transfer, so Q is zero. There's no work, there's no moving parts, W is zero. Flow system, energy balance then is delta H equals zero. So that means H in equals H out. And what we're going to do to calculate the enthalpy is to use the Peng Robertson equation of state. This is the spreadsheet equation of state from the thermodynamics textbook by Elliot and Lyra. Other screencasts explain how to use these spreadsheets, but basically you enter critical pressure, critical temperature, eccentric factor, and heat capacities. All this information is in a spreadsheet. You enter it into the appropriate location to calculate enthalpies. And what I'm going to do is give you the values for the enthalpy. So this enthalpy, of course, this depends on the reference state picked in the spreadsheet. So for that reference state, here's the enthalpy per mole of nitrogen entering, which means, so that's HN. H out must be the same number. And so what I've done, and I'll show you the spreadsheet, is I adjusted the temperature in the spreadsheet at this pressure of 2 bar until I obtained the same enthalpy. Let me show you the spreadsheet to give you a better idea of what's happening. So here's a snapshot of the spreadsheet at my starting conditions. In yellow is the temperature and the pressure. 10 megapascals corresponds to 100 bar. In the spreadsheet, what I've done is enlarge the fonts for the things of interest, the critical temperature and pressure and eccentric factor that I entered. And then for terms for heat capacity, that's a function of temperature. And I've now shown the enthalpy minus 293. I've decreased the number of significant figures just to make it easier to use. Spreadsheet gets much more. That's the initial condition. So the final condition, you notice I have essentially the same enthalpy. Pressure, 2 bar, 2 tenths of a megapascal. And what I've done is adjust this temperature. I could certainly use something like solver in Excel to get it more accurate than this, but the fact is I'm going to call this 288 Kelvin anyway. We certainly can't get it more accurately than that. So our final temperature, we're expanding steam. This is going to be 288 Kelvin. So this corresponds to our outlet temperature of 15 degrees C. So the temperature change is minus 20 degrees C for this Joule Thompson expansion. So clearly, it's not an ideal gas under the initial conditions of high pressure. And the actual number I get depends on which model I use. I'm using the Peng Robertson equation state to do this calculation.